Some call it Australia's Barbary Coast. And there are a few pirates there for sure. Others call it Sin City. And there's some of that around too. One Sydney alderman wants it cleaned up. Another says it's worth a million a year the way it is. If you can believe what you read about it, the inhabitants make their living out of baccarat, dope, witchcraft, prostitution, stripping, and selling each other salami. But you can't invent anything about the place that isn't partly true. The cross is something that Sydney bears with a mixture of disapproval and delight. But you won't find it on any map, and there's no street sign that says King's Cross. It's a no-man's land with something for everyone. It has no boundaries to its name and no limits to its way of life. In fact, the cross is not a place, but a state of mind. From its heart, you can go about half a mile in any direction before you run out of the lights into the darkness of the outside world. A half mile there and back. A glittering mile of dreams, delusions, hopes and headaches. Where life comes out of an espresso machine. And you can have it any way you like it.